Former U.S. President Donald Trump watches as his lawyer Alina Habba Cross examines Michael Cohen. Before Judge Arthur F. Engeron during the Trump Organization civil trial in New York State Supreme Court in Manhattan, New York City, U.S. October 25, 2023. In this courtroom. Get license rights New York. October 25 Donald Trump was fined 10000 on Wednesday after a New York judge overseeing his civil case said the former U.S. president had violated a gag order banning him from disparaging court staff for the second time. Judge Arthur Engeron had imposed a gag order after Trump posted a photo on social media on October. Three of the judges' chief clerk posing with U.S. Senate Majority Leader Democrat Chuck Schumer and mistakenly called her Schumer's girlfriend. This judge is very partisan judge, with very partisan person sitting next to him. Maybe even more than that. Trump told reporters Wednesday during recess in civil lawsuit filed by New York Attorney General Letitia James over Trump's business practices. Engeron who speculated that Trump was referring to his clerk, called the comments a clear violation of the speech ban. Trump's comments to reporters came as Michael Cohen, his one-time lawyer and fixer, testified for a second day against his former boss. Trump briefly took the witness stand before he was sentenced, saying he had mentioned you and Cohen to the judge in his hallway speech. The judge rejected the idea that the partisan person Trump was referring to was Cohen. As Trump's lawyer Christopher Kies noted, the idea that this statement would refer to the witness doesn't make sense to me. Engeron said, don't do that again, or it'll get worse. Engeron's clerk sits next to the judge during the hearing, which is standard practice in New York State Court. Alina Habba, one of Trump's lawyers told Engeron that she saw the clerk roll her eyes as Cohen testified and that it was completely inappropriate. On October 20, Engeron fined Trump 5,000 after finding he failed to remove a post disparaging the clerk and warned that future violations could bring much more severe sanctions, including prison. While Engeron initially imposed the gag order, it said the comments towards its employees were unacceptable inappropriate and will not be tolerated under any circumstances. Trump, who challenged Democratic President Joe Biden for Republican nomination in the 2024 U.S. elections, left courtroom after being fined. Cohen defends reliability The civil lawsuit concerns allegations that Trump and his family business, the Trump Organization, illegally manipulated asset values and net worth to deceive lenders and insurers. On Tuesday, Cohen confronted Trump for the first time in five years, saying Trump had arbitrarily inflated the value of his real estate assets to secure favorable insurance premiums. Cohen also testified Tuesday that his former boss doctored financial statements to make property values match what Mr. Trump told us. Since